Are we ready? <laughs> Who am I asking? It's only me. <laughs> Let's do this. Guys, welcome to Color to Boom Alive and Uncut. Yes, you thought we was gone, but we is back, baby. And we are right here in my home because, hey, you know, Corona. Sister Rona, she then talked. She done said things. Let me tell you, it's just amazing that I'm able to put this all together and record from my house. How comfortable is that? Anyway, I just want to catch up on, you know, what uh, Rona has been to me so far, what life has been to me so far, because I know there are a lot of people out there who've gone through really hard, difficult times. And it's not to say that because, you know, as a person of interest, I like to call myself a person of interest, that I have not been afraid or scared or challenged by all the things that Rona has been to me. To be very honest, I think there's a period um, in April that I just couldn't come out of bed. I really, I really just could not come out of bed. And even when I did and I knew that, okay, things have changed, I can't keep on my crew because again, they have to be safe. Secondly, I don't have the money to pay them. As we do shows, you know, nobody's really putting money anywhere. I thought to myself, now what will I do? And you know what? I realized that fear can really weigh you down. Believe me, I went on like that until mid-May. 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 That's when things started looking up for me because I decided to change my approach and I decided I've got to try. I've got to do something. And all this while, I started something new. I started um, KM Radio, which I hope you've been watching. It is uh, on IG Live Monday, Wednesdays, and Friday from 6 to 8. And hopefully, I'll be transforming that into a podcast. The whole world can get to hear Kenyan podcast. So please be on the lookout for that. But in the meantime, this is a one thing that, I mean, really um, shocked me is how you can actually drive yourself into a little hole. You know, you don't want to move. You don't want to do anything. Can I put this down? I want to talk. And I know there are very few people in my position who would ever admit that life can actually drag you down and it can be hard. So how do you get up? How do you get out of that situation when you're down? It's first to realize that you are created for a purpose. There's something somewhere you were created for. And therefore... You cannot just give up on life because a situation has changed, right? You, I mean, so many things change for us. So many, so many things, um, weather, like July is colder. That doesn't mean you don't get out of bed or, you know, you can't take a shower because mm, there are some of you who are not taking a shower. But I think it's all about creating the mental capacity to know that you were created for a purpose. So for me, I realized that I need a routine. You know, without a, a systematic routine, you can't function. So my routine is that I'll wake up at 7.30. Yes, during Rona times now, I wake up at 7.30. I will do um, my morning devotion until about 8.00. Then I change and come and do some exercise. So in my effort to start this um, in mid of May or early May, actually, it may have been early May. See, I went and I pulled my muscles. Friends, I actually had a groin injury because of some stretches that I did. So I thought, okay, maybe let me just buy some dawa, fastam, rub. It's a really weird location, okay? <laughs> and okay in two three days i was fine and then i now continued with my program so if i'm i'm done with my workout even just 30 minutes or even 15 minutes some days it, it matters if you're doing a high intensity workout so um i would do that and then shower make something to eat for breakfast and uh, after the last time i got unwell due to stress levels i was eating more oily foods and that kind of messed up my digestive system that's why i was in hospital the last time i now have to do more um you know of of uh food that is infused with uh, fiber and greens and stuff and so yeah i'll make a smoothie you know and then i start my day and now i was like look what can i purposely and intentionally do to change my circumstances of feeling like i'm not getting anywhere i'm not making money and it was really about 
writing down my proposals and you know trying to figure out what's the smartest way to capture business what's the smartest way to deliver for people out there and it's so interesting because i had been doing KM radio on ig live from april and i was so low i was so so down and still when it came to time for the people giving back i was able so i realized that that's where i need to stay that's where i need to stop worrying about everything as my phone beeps anyway niku shoot from home so <laughs> so anyway um um so i think being able to make a plan for your days and your time is important and so at first i thought okay so i'm not going to be able to shoot km uh networks uh, live and uncut because now i can't have people you know coming into the office or coming into the studios or coming into uh, highland suites where you know we've been so graciously shooting from last year but i realized that okay there are other options the other avenues i can do this from home so i will be launching a zoom series of live and uncut where i could interview anyone across the world and the best part is that um everybody will still be safe because let's face it, Rona is still out there and, and, and I know a lot of people have now moved on. You don't even care what the numbers are. But you know what? I've, if you've watched any video of somebody who's struggling to breathe or if you've ever had that problem, you'll realize that it is very important to observe the rules as they are. Staying at home doesn't mean you can't work at home, especially since we're so blessed that technology has really, really grown to where we are now. And so for me, moving um the show onto zoom is a plus as i look at it as a plus because then i have less crew i am able to connect to anyone across the world and at the end of the day um what am i here for to help you with uh, different stories that can change your perspective so as i went along with my routine <laughs> i woke up one day and guys i could barely move my left hip I felt like a uh, numbing, excruciating pain. And if I'm being really honest, I thought to myself, oh my God, it's May, so it's not cold. It wasn't, no, it was, yeah, it wasn't May. Yeah, it was still May. It wasn't as cold. And I thought to myself, am I getting arthritis? Let me tell, let me tell you aging. Ooh, growing old is scary. You start thinking, is it the arthritis? And so I went to see a doctor because, you know, I have a skin condition that apparently can give you that arthritis, <laughs> my psoriasis, um, which is the speeded growth of skin. It starts affecting different parts of your body. Anyway, so I go see the doctor. He tells me, move your leg like this, do this, do this, do that. And that was not the problem. So then um, he says, okay, maybe you need to see a physiotherapist. And I say, okay. And so I did. And let me tell you guys. In the next episode of Kalachamuma Live and Uncut, you will get to meet a lady who has just redefined what a pelvic floor is. No, it is not only for enjoying in the bedroom with your husband. No. <laughs> it is not only for childbirth. No. It is not only for going for, you know, um, waste removal. There is something uniquely positioned in your body and it is imperative that you understand that you could be going through certain problems and you don't even know because of where you know you've ignored and that apparently there's a muscle down there so that will be our next episode of Kaleche Mumo Live and Uncut. I just wanted to reintroduce the show to you as we start this new season of of Zoom um, and 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 just to urge you to let me know if there are people you want me to chat to and topics you want me to chat to please let me know um on the comment section over there and always make sure you subscribe because this is Kalecha Mumu live and uncut where we are raw we are live and there's always going to be something for you to learn as we help you change perspectives on life from me see ya catch you on the next episode